It's late December, it's cold out, and I'm daydreaming about berries. In the summertime, I love berries, and it seems like the wildlife around us really does too. But I noticed there seems to be some berries that don't get picked or eaten in summer, fall, or winter. Let's take a closer look at a berry I find really interesting, the high bush cranberry, to learn more about it. Don't get this plant confused with the true cranberry. The true cranberry grows in bogs or swamps, low to the ground. The high bush cranberry, which actually isn't a berry at all, but something called a droop, grows high up on a shrubby bush-like tree. So I get the high bush part of the name, but what is with the cranberry part of the name? Turns out people have used this for centuries to make a jelly that tastes a lot like cranberry sauce. But why is it usually left on the bushes? It turns out that the high bush cranberry is a really important food for animals when times are tough. If it's a really long, cold, snowy winter, animals like rough grouse, cedar waxwings, even raccoons and squirrels will happily eat them. And even more important, in the springtime, when birds are migrating, like robins and grosbeaks, these can be the difference between life and death as they need a lot of calories to fuel their migration north. People use this berry to make jelly. So I know it's not poisonous, and that got me thinking, what does it taste like? But I know how important it is to make 100% sure that you know what you're picking before you eat anything in nature. So before I even attempt that, I'm gonna take a look in my ID books. Okay, I'm sure this is a high bush cranberry, but there's one more thing I have to do. I'm gonna take one, I'm gonna break it open, and I'm gonna smell it. Oh my gosh, I am so glad that I did not taste this. This is not the high bush cranberry I was hoping it was. This one smells like dirty, stinky socks. Turns out that this is the European variety of high bush cranberry. In the summertime, there are some small differences between the leaves, but during this time of year, the best way to tell the difference is to give it a smell. If it smells like dirty, stinky socks, you've got the European variety of the high bush cranberry. I wonder, since birds don't have the ability to smell, what's the reason they seem to pass this up unless they're desperate? I wonder if animals can taste the difference between the European high bush and the American high bush cranberry. I wonder what you wondered.